This is a video about a common problem of DC23 head of Dyson vacuum cleaners and uh, it's normally the problem is uh, that it's full with dust and it just stops spinning not a brush uh, but when you start hearing a cracking sound and the brush uh, spinning at low speed or just stall completely uh, the problem might be not just the brush and not just the hair stuck in it and the, or the dust or just the turbine which is in there which is actually spinning the brush and it could be broken like this one initially I was thinking just to glue it but I realized that uh, it won't be that strong and also it will wobble around uh, this uh, not circular hole and I decided to make a 3d print model and print it but before that I've uh, just uh, tried to check the Thingiverse and actually I found a model of the turbine exactly for this model it wasn't completely matches but I adapted a bit just by scaling which was the easiest thing just to try and finally yeah it worked So, when you disassemble all the thing, you can see that the turbine is actually cracked. This is the shaft, which is exactly 5 millimeters. And this is the turbine. It's cracked. And uh, yeah, you can try to glue it and glue it to the shaft, but it won't be really reliable. It's been already broken. And as you see, also the hole is not is not straight already, so it's just not perfect circle. And even though if you glue it, you have the risk of wobbling after that which is really not good for a turbine so this is the main problem sometimes when you wait more this could be even more broken than that the solution I've printed one of these I've used one of the models from Thingiverse I'm gonna share the link and uh, the problem was that the people was complaining that the hole is actually a bit more wider than five millimeters so just scale down the whole thing because i was lazy to redo it and uh, now the hole is just a bit below five millimeters so these things cannot be pushed through directly so it's yeah around 4.9 millimeters it should be which will provide enough strength so you not you you do not need to put the glue uh, one way is just to push it harder and to put it on place but i would prefer to hit this a bit before that i'm going to just show the exactly the size so it's just five precisely millimeters and this part with the grip is a bit more which will provide the torque transferring from the turbine to the shaft. I don't know if, if it's going to work, but it's worth to try. <laughs> I'm gonna heat it up a bit.
and try to not turn it around. And now I'm going to try to press it until it goes to the right place. It's not that easy as I expected. <laughs> yeah, should be strong enough. Let's just see. This side because I, I didn't cut very well because this was the brim of the 3D printing. Fortunately, it's a thin plastic, so you can easily cut it. Now it's a bit better. I realized that I just forgot to remove the support. And it's actually, is this thing, is actually touching this surface, which is a bit higher than this one. So once I remove that, it should be fine. This doesn't have any supportive function, so you can just remove it. So that's it. Not too bad. The surface is a bit rough, so if you want, because this is a PLA, you can just remove the hair like this way, and there's no hair because my printer is stringing a bit, so it leaves some bit of a hair, but now it's fine. It's not exactly the same shape as the original, but I think it will do the job. Let's put these things together. So, you have to verify the belt is in the right place. Which is here. And of course, Now the shaft should go there. And of course now it won't be very fine really. It could scratch because the other bearing is not holding it. I'm gonna put this bearing. to match all these notches and now let's see if it's spinning that all seems fine you can see the turbine there it's smooth this was a ceiling which I damaged a bit while I was disassembling it. I didn't know how to open it. It was pretty hard to open actually. So this thing have to go here, exactly where it belongs. Now this is smooth, we can see the turbine there spinning nice and smoothly you can feel the wind if you try to rotate it here now there are some screws they are 
hexagon torx 15 screws so there are two types of screws and these are short for sure because this wouldn't fit so we're gonna put this one and this one and I guess this one There is a trick when you screw this type of screws is just first just put it a bit of force and turn it back until click and then it will go for the same thread that it was before click because this is a plastic and if you not following the previous thread it will It would damage the thread if you do it two or three times. Everything's still spinning. Uh, these covers were very hard to remove, these ones, because as you see, this channel here, this groove, it's very tight with this one. So these ones go into these ones, goes into these ones, and and here as well, as you see, the groove. And because of that, I've damaged a bit this side. As you see, it's not in perfect shape anymore. But I think it would work yet. Because it's, it's just important to be sealed. And the air to go through these small holes here. And just pin the turbine. This is the valve, which actually put the air through these holes, through this dust filter, and it just releases through these holes. And even though if this gasket is not perfect, it would just obstruct the valve to close completely the the hole, so it could just leave a bit of air to to go through so it won't affect very much the work when you uh, try to just turn it off and now let's this put these things together again I just want to mention what what I've been using until this monthary was to one way is just to put few screwdrivers use few screwdrivers for one side, for another side, and for another side, and just pull together all these things to remove it. But I use this thin piece of steel just to stick it beneath when I remove with the screwdriver. With the screwdriver, when I just pull it up with the screwdriver and stick it in, just to keep the groove smooth like this. To be able to take it off these were hard to remove really okay let's let's move see how it is this thing this is thing this is the marker this is the notch which have to match this one okay so you don't need to mark it really just put it on like this that was easier than the dismantle And this is just to keep, this has a gasket in there. This thing is a rubber gasket. So you, you should not worry about it. This is easy, the easy bit. This with the valve is the hardest one. And we will search for the notch. There you go. And just put the things together. Press. And this was easy as well. So all good. Still spinning, still winding, and now the easy thing all should go back to normal. These three screws are holding it. This is another gasket, but it's normally staying in the place. So we just put this there here, and 
this thing of course, the cover and the three screws one, two, three and a few, two more this one and this one I didn't take a video how to disassemble it for that reason I just showing how to assemble it and this is exactly the opposite way to the disassembling okay so we've got all the pieces together these are easy these are not very clean, but yeah, this is the clutch which is actually transferring the torque from these shafts to the brushes. Put the brushes. Oh, there is an arrow. I guess it should be in the same direction as this arrow. Like this. And the last bit. Which is this one. Yeah, same direction of the arrow. Push it. All done. And now the moment of the truth. Let's see if this is going to work. Seems strong enough. Quite strong. Well, problem solved with a broken turbine. Is it worth it to do it? Well, the whole head costs around sixty pounds, and I just try to open it to see what's in there and if if it's something easy to fix just to fix it so if you have a 3d printer the cost is actually few pence for the filament for the printer and of course your time but if you have time and if you just like to play with some stuff sometimes it's definitely worth it to fix it if you don't have your own 3d printer you can ask someone else to print it if you have some friend with 3d printer and it will be fine. I hope that the video was helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.